Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is another day that the Lord has given us. Another day to live fully, to rejoice in the Lord. It may be sunny or it may be rainy. It may be cloudy. It may be a warm and nice day. Whatever it is, whatever day it is, this is the day that the Lord has given us. So let us be thankful, let us rejoice, let us live fully in this day that the Lord has given us. The focus of the meditation for today is the message that we find in Psalm 91. I'm going to read a few verses. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilences. He will cover you with his wings and under his wings you will find refuge. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked because you have made the Lord your refuge, most high your dwelling place. Evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall you. No scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the other, the young lion and the serpent, you will trample underfoot. Those who love me, said the Lord, I will deliver, I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them with long life, and I will satisfy them and know them and show them my salvation. What a beautiful message the Lord gives us. Those who call me, I will answer them. Those who are in trouble, I will give them my strength. Those who wait in the Lord, they will find always me near them because I am their God, I am their refuge, I am their rock of salvation. I hope we can live today and every day remembering that we are not alone that God is our refuge. It has been our refuge for generations. This past weekend was a long weekend, as we, and as we remember those who lived before us and who were fallen, given their life for their country, we remember and were thankful for their life, knowing that generation by generation, the same way that God was with them, and help them to fulfill their mission, whatever that mission was. God will be with us, is with us, day by day, helping us to fulfill our mission. What's our mission? The mission that Lord has given us, to live in faith, to love one another, to serve people, to be God's people, day or night. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day of the week, our mission is to be the people of God, joyfully, thankfully, knowing that God is our refuge, that God is our rock of salvation. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day. Thank you for your presence in our life in the life of our families, because you are the God of all generations, the God of the past, the God of the present, and the God of the future. Help us, O oh God, to be your faithful people. 
Help us, O oh God, to remember that we are not alone, that we can call on you and that you will respond. Help us, O oh God, to be joyful and thankful because this is the day that you give us, because you are with us, because you are our God. Let us to remember that and be thankful and be joyful because this is the day of the Lord. In Jesus Christ, we ask for your blessings and your blessings upon all of those, all your children, the ones who are healthy and the ones who are sick, the ones who are laughing and the ones who are crying. Make everybody the sick, those who are sick and are going to the doctor, those who are worried, oh God, bless them, that your healing and your blessed and loving hand be in every home, in every life, in each one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. Amen.